everyone, Annalisa Burgos here with Front Door Unlock the Vlog. Today we're going to hear from markets guru Barry Ritholtz. He's got some very interesting things to say about the housing market. He's also got some harsh advice for sellers out there. Listen up. Until people have to sell, they have very unreasonable expectations. I keep telling people um, whenever they ask, how can I get a good price for my house? I say, get a time machine, go back to 2005, and sell at the peak of the market. If you can't do that, well then you better price your house realistically if you have to sell it or want to sell it quickly. Houses aren't like stocks. If you're in a house you like and you're planning on living there for five, ten years, if you're upside down 10 or 20 percent, it's irrelevant. Everybody gets all bent out of shape. It's only the people who were really aggressively speculating and have three or four houses and flip this house and do this. Those are the people that are in trouble, deservedly so. The people who bought at the peak and didn't put enough money down and they need to sit down and do the calculus and saying, is it worth it for me to stay here? But for the vast majority of people with mortgages and jobs, there's probably nothing they should do. Look at what sort of uh, repairs and improvements you can make that cost very little but enhance the value of the home and the usability of the home. People are going to be disappointed. This is going to be a deep protracted recession and real estate is going to do poorly along with the rest of the economy. I'm not expecting recovery before the end of 2009. I know the usual second half recovery idiots are out saying the same thing they've said every year for the past four years and have been wrong. Um, this is a bad one and this is going to last at least three or four more quarters. If we're lucky, by the end of 2009 we'll be coming out of this. That's if we're lucky and everybody does, meaning the Treasury, the Fed, the President, everybody does everything right. If you have some spare cash, I don't say run out and buy a bunch of houses tomorrow, but we have told our clients, make a list of things you want, and that includes art, jewelry, boats, cars, vacation properties, and start shopping. And sometime over the next year or two, prices are going to get to a point where it's a bargain. If you well, you wanted a Monet and didn't have the $15 million, well, maybe $5 million will tempt you. And the same thing is true for anything collectible or that vacation property. It doesn't have to be $20 million. It could be $300,000 down from $700,000. Uh, there are opportunities created by recessions for people who are looking for them as opposed to just walking around and feeling bad that the economy stinks. It, this is, you know, when things are at the top, you have to be careful and preserve capital because there's risk. And when things are at the bottom, you have to say, now's a good time to put cash to work.